arrow versus directional arrow. Which one should I use? Why do people constantly spin? Yes, yes, my children, all of your questions will be answered in this video. Also, I want to apologize for being gone for a little bit. Uh, a hacker got into my YouTube account, streamed some cryptocurrency scam or something, and the algorithm auto terminated my channel, and it took about a month and a half to get back. Yeah, it was kind of a whole thing, but uh, I'm back now, and let's roll on into the video. So first off, directional air roll is technically better because you can move your left stick left and right while air rolling. And it doesn't take a genius to see that regular air roll limits your adjustments because you have to use the left stick to air roll, which means you can't tornado spin or reverse tornado spin among other adjustments. And honestly, it doesn't really matter that much until you start constantly spinning. I know, I know, I kind of clickbaited the title a little bit, but uh, hear me out. Until you start to get proficient in the air, aerials can really be performed with either directional aerial or regular aerial. This is because most aerials only need like 20 degrees of roll. This includes aerial shots, lower aerials, wave dashes. They can all be performed by either aerial or directional aerial because you don't really need that much of an adjustment. That is why I recommend regular air roll to beginners and even intermediate players. I think it's just a little simpler to have one bind that modifies your left stick rather than having three binds all for the sake of air roll. Plus, you can bind power slide onto air roll to save a bunch of space. Personally, I have both on L1 and I have like one bind instead of having four. Now, you can kind of think of it like a manual versus an automatic car, like sure you can do more in a manual, but if you only need to go to the store and back, it's easier in an automatic. So you should just use regular air roll to start. Now, if you find yourself in a Fast and Furious movie and you need to pull a giant bank vault through downtown Rio de Janeiro, you probably want a stick shift which is like the Rocket League equivalent of constantly spinning in an air dribble, I guess. Anyway, guys, the question I'm trying to get to is why do people constantly spin? There are a couple of reasons. First off, it's more efficient. Remember how I said earlier, you really only need to air roll in like tiny segments, maybe at the beginning of an aerial and then again at the end to make solid contact. Well, if we look at an example, instead of first adjusting to the left and then back to the right to hit the ball, you can make both of these adjustments in a single spin. So you are essentially combining adjustments into a single adjustment, and this applies to a bunch of situations. Instead of leaning back to slow down and then leaning forward for the finish, you can use a tornado spin to slow down and get the angle in a single motion. Next, it's more fluid. This one kind of goes hand in hand with the efficiency aspect, but instead of trying to fight your momentum, you guide it and maintain it a little better, which makes it more boost efficient and faster. You can kind of think of it like one of those Michael Phelps flip kick turns versus just trying to turn around in a pool. It's a little bit more natural of a movement. It's also more adaptable. Like if you are constantly spinning and flipping around, you just get a lot more comfortable using all the different parts of your hitbox in a lot of awkward spots. This is especially evident with advanced mechanics like air dribbling, flip resets, and double taps, where you really find yourself needing to adapt to a lot of different situations, and you kind of discover touches that wouldn't be possible if you weren't spinning. And lastly, and most importantly in my opinion, it looks really cool. Like, you can't look at a normal air dribble, and then look at a spinning air dribble and tell me the normal one was cooler. And ultimately, Rocket League is a game. And if you're anything like me, you want to do what is cool and fun in games. So it is very difficult to learn and it really only gives you that slight advantage. But a big reason for learning it for me was that it looks really sick. Okay, so that covers why you should learn constantly spinning. But when should you start learning it? And it's kind of hard to say because you can't really put like an exact pinpoint on it. And I usually recommend Diamond 2 to Champion 1 
because at this rank, you start to get very proficient at aerials. Basically, spinning is kind of like the final evolution of your aerials, so you want to make sure you have everything else covered and can hit aerials solidly in a bunch of different situations, like if you need to hit a redirect or jump off the wall or go for a high aerial or an awkward save, just make sure you're very comfortable in the air before you start learning constantly spinning. Okay, so here's the final question people always ask, should I use aerial left or aerial right? And honestly, it doesn't really matter. I know Squishy just recommended that whichever way you like to flip should be the direction you use. So if you like to flip to the right, then use arrow right and vice versa. This way, if you go for like a pre-flip air dribble or something, you can kind of continue your momentum. But honestly, I kind of flip both directions when I do that. So just pick one and just get to work because it does take a long time to learn. And if you guys do want to learn how to constantly spin, I have a bunch of videos on it. So click that card up in the corner. Okay. Yeah, I hope that clarifies everything. And hopefully it also clears up a lot of the questions I get under every single video I post. And yeah, follow my socials, hang out with me live over on Twitch. Enjoy this kitty vibing out. Peace.